Yes, I'd like to thank Dr. Ron Poman uh, and uh, Dr. Turi for coming from all. And I know each one of you is really busy, and thank you for coming to this panel. I'd just like to share with you, or to share with you something very, uh, I think, started uh, three months ago when Anurban, he's one, I think, uh, I think he's a model for the young people, and Anurban, he's, he's a graduate from CMU, he uh, has been in his wheelchair since he, he was born, and uh, I was with him, and he was visiting us in ICT Qatar, and I just started to talk with him and wondering how did he manage to go through all the uh, difficulty in C at CMU and uh, uh, managed to get a degree in computer science from the, this uh, school and how did he manage to through the difficulty, especially because he's been, because he's been raised in state Qatar and we do not have a lot of assistive technology here. Uh, he told me it was very simple because he has a, ded a dedicated mother who was really doing all her best to find out the available AT that he can use. So uh, the main thing that is missing, it's not the availability of this assistive technology, it's, the, uh, it's, uh, it's identifying this uh, as assistive te uh, technology and find always can be generated. So it's like he thought, and, and I still remember he think that if there is a center where this center will be able to, to provide information, to uh, uh, will be able to uh, uh, give awareness to the father and uh, mother of the children with assisted, I mean with uh, disabled uh, kids, and this center will be able to localize some of these assistive technology. I think it's very clear that some of this assistive technology cannot be adapted here because of the language barrier. And then we had formed, and, and I think at that time we thought that was really kind of something we should explore. Then we formed a committee, and uh, this committee uh, it consists of all stakeholders that are related to uh, people with disability in Qatar, it's Ashafalla, and Nur, it's Institute, uh, Dr. Hayya is in this, and uh, Vodafone, and the two operators, they are in this, uh, in this uh, committee. And then we provide <coughs> the best things for this to be a reality is to establish a center. It will be an assistive technology center. It will be established here in the state of Qatar. And this assistive technology center will work in the, in the three area. It will be. It will. It will create awareness to the uh, to uh, everybody in Qatar and in the region that there is uh, technology that can be used. And I think we had seen it now. It's like a small thing can make a difference between being 100% uh, 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 disabled and 100%. Uh, and when when I talk uh, disabled, it means that. You, uh, you cannot do anything and be 100% able to do everything. And uh, the center will also work with the QSTP to, to adapt the technology that exists for the, uh, the assistive technology that exists to, uh, to, and to localize it to the local market here. And maybe it would be good if you will do this with uh, Microsoft since uh, uh, they are ready to do it. And uh, the uh, third thing, this center will uh, will uh, provide the uh, information that is needed uh, for all a new technology that exists and the yeah uh, that exists because as you know I think when it comes to the Middle East we are really lagging behind and uh, and it will be great if this center uh, will help to make everybody like. Uh, who has the disability like Anurban, uh, being now one of the model that uh, we all look to him and with, with admiration and respect. Thank you.